So what do you think you can bring uh, to City Hall that you've learned from being a school board trustee? I think a collaboration is probably the, the biggest thing I've learned. It's about bringing groups together and working with them. Um, it's, uh, in, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be similar at City Hall. It's about bringing staff together with the residents and, in my case, the parents, the families, and the communities as a whole. We're able to bring them all together um, to make decisions and uh, see what we can do. Um, it's, uh, yeah, so there's, there's solutions to be found. It's not, uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not always perfect. You learn that, you know, you've got to just do your best and try. Never make promises that, of things that uh, you're not sure of what the outcome will be. But in the end, we found some really good solutions and I was very pleased at how it went. What would you like to see changed at City Hall? Well, I think communications is a big issue, um, but um, also just um, in terms of overall service to the community, um, there's there's work to be done. We we do a good job. We don't do a great job. We we have a lot mm -hmm. to learn, um, and one of the big things that just jumps out at me is affordable housing. We're quite behind in it. Um, you know, we make a nice report, and, and basically it says we've got lots of work to do. So. Uh, I would like to work on that. I'd like to see more affordable housing. For those of us who are lucky enough to live in this community, it's great, but there's a whole bunch of people who would like to be here that, that can't. And uh, there's opportunities coming up, and I'm hoping that we'll have um, an opportunity to include those people in this community. We have to make that LRT very accessible. So it's one thing to just plan out a route. It's another thing to make it walkable to get there. I've heard a lot of concerns about that where, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, a great spot. Like right now we've got the transit way. People can't get to it very easily, especially in the winter. So the routes are not uh, well thought out and uh, they're treacherous and uh, problematic. So, so that's one thing. Um, we'd like to get people out of their cars very much, um, but we don't leave much alternative if we don't make it easy for people. I live in a neighborhood that's very mixed. We have, uh, you know, shelters in the community. We have social housing. Um, and uh, we want everyone to be comfortable here. So, um, so there's a lot to work to do to make sure that uh, it, it works for everyone. How does the city get more affordable housing? They have to work in partnerships. There are, there are partnerships that can be developed. We have the, uh, a new tool that's been given to us with the inclusionary zoning that the province has put forward. And so I hope that we'll take that opportunity and uh, for new developments such as Lincoln Field, we'll use it so that we have um, the uh, affordable housing, you know, we can set up percentage. So that's exciting that we can do that. Um, as well, um, it's, it's about looking for other opportunities. We have other partners that we could work for in the non, you know, non-profit, perhaps uh, co-ops and, uh, and agencies like CCOC. So yeah, I'd like to uh, have us reach out because in the end, it is, it's a positive thing for the community overall. Explain your position on, on single-use plastic bags. I think it's problematic when we keep using things for, you know, once and uh, then they get thrown out. You only have to walk around um, a parkland like what's down the street from here to see, you know, things that get thrown out. Um, so it, it's, it is something that is uh, difficult to change because uh, people get used to a certain thing. Um, other communities have achieved that. Uh, Montreal has been the latest one. And um, so we have an opportunity to work towards that. I mean, I remember when we first started to use, uh, bring our own bags to grocery stores. It, it took a while and people finally got into the habit. So that was a good start. So as, if we can move away from that completely, that would be very positive. I mean, it saves us money too. I mean, in the terms of, uh, you know, if there's less garbage, there's less dump space and it's, uh, it's a positive thing overall.